well, I feel great. You know, I can never, I can never assess my appearance. I wait for my postmenopausal fans to weigh in on that. My IFB. What? They want to control me from afar? Okay, I'm putting the leash on. You, you can. <laughs> Fuck it, we'll do it live. I got you, baby. Looks like Tucker Carlson's post-firing period is quickly going from bad to worse, as the former Fox host contends with yet another leaked video from Media Matters, this time mocking his own viewers as postmenopausal fans. And look, I know that we talk about how much disdain Fox has for its own audience, but it really is something to hear that contempt coming right from the mouth of its own hosts. And of course, this isn't the first instance of proof of Fox's oozing disdain for its audience in the last few weeks. Thanks to Discovery and the Dominion lawsuit against Fox, we also have insight into a text exchange between Tucker and Laura Ingram, where Tucker wrote, Sidney Powell is lying, by the way, I caught her, it's insane, to which Laura replied, Sidney is a complete nut, no one will work with her, ditto with Rudy. And then Tucker responded, it's unbelievably offensive to me, our viewers are good people, and they believe it. And they believe it. In other words, Tucker was well aware that when Fox puts these liars and conspiracy theorists and con artists on air, that Fox's audience falls for it. Which makes the fact that Fox put these people on air anyway all the more indefensible. I mean, hell, here's Tucker Carlson himself airing some of this bullshit being spewed by Mike Lindell, another Looney Tune who's made a name for himself in the bowels of history alongside Sidney Powell and Rudy Giuliani. With this particular thing that's going on now, I've been all in trying to find the machine fraud, and we found it. We have all the evidence. So what all these venue, all these outlets that have been calling me from the Washington Post, New York Times, every every outlet in the country, they go, Mike Lindell, there's no evidence, and he's making fraudulent statements. No, I have the evidence. I dare people to put it on. I dare Dominion to sue me because then it would get out faster. Weird. I thought that it was Tucker Carlson himself who admitted via text that his audience believes the stuff that they put on air, and yet there's Tucker putting one of those very con artists on national TV. It's almost like, and I hope you're sitting down for this, he didn't actually give a shit about protecting his audience and was more concerned with knowingly manipulating them for his own partisan benefit. Who could have possibly guessed? And of course, that's to say nothing of the broader impact of Fox News' election denialism that ultimately led to an insurrection on January 6th. For months, Fox peppered its own audience with lies about fraud that didn't exist, to the point where thousands of those people actually showed up at the U.S. Capitol ready to assassinate the vice president for not bending to Trump's will. That's how manipulated these viewers were. They'd been so brainwashed that they wanted their own party's vice president killed because he wouldn't unilaterally declare Trump the winner. Forget that the Trump team failed to prove even a single instance of widespread fraud in over 60 court cases, including in front of eight Trump-appointed judges. None of that mattered because Fox and Republicans weren't interested in reality, they were just interested in selling Trump's narrative. It still defies logic that we have a major news outlet devoted entirely solely to disinformation, and Tucker was their primary purveyor. And this hot mic moment, where he's mocking his viewers, isn't the only newly released piece of footage that he's contending with right now. Just yesterday, Media Matters also released a behind-the-scenes clip of Tucker admitting that no one even watches Fox's streaming service, Fox Nation. I, I don't want to be a slave to Fox Nation, which I don't think that many people watch anyway. Um, we're gonna, uh, because I, 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 you know, I'm like a representative of the American media now. Speaking to an exile in Romania and welcoming him back into the Brotherhood of Journalists. Yeah, it would help us out if you wore a sweater though, because we asked him not to wear a suit. Like he was panicking about it, so you don't have to. Tucker's gonna be looking uh, casual. That's just how our show looks. Is that okay? I, I, I mean, this is airing on the nighttime show, and I want it to look official. I don't want it to be like bro talk. And I, and I, you know what I mean? Yeah, but the majority of it, like if we go like 45 minutes, it's going to be for Fox Nation. But nobody's going to watch it on Fox Nation. Nobody watches Fox Nation because the site sucks. So I'd really like to just put the dump the whole thing on YouTube. Um, but anyway, that's just my view. Um, uh, I'm just frustrated with the, uh, it, it's hard to use that site. I don't know why they're not fixing it. It's driving me insane. And they're like making like lifetime movies, but they don't, they don't work on the infrastructure of the site. Like what? It's crazy. And it drives me crazy because it's like we're doing all this extra work and no one can find it. It's unbelievable, actually. I don't know who runs that site. But... We're going to play a sizable chunk on the show tomorrow night. That's the plan. 
And then what it's going to do is drive a lot of people to watch this on Fox Nation. It's going to be a great help to what we're doing over there on TV today. I know, but I, we, we're doing our part. We're like working like animals to produce all this content and the people in charge of it, whoever that guy's, whatever his name is, like they're ignoring the fact that the site doesn't work. And it, it's, I think it's like a betrayal of our efforts. That's how I feel. So I, of course, I resent it. And I should know that this was during a pre-interview call with a representative for Andrew Tate, who's currently under house arrest while being investigated for human trafficking and rape. Because when it comes to family values, no one has more authority on the topic than Republicans and their mouthpieces in the media. Now, I spoke about this in a previous video, but I think it's worth reiterating here. There is clearly a trove of clips that Tucker would most likely not like getting released, and what we've seen in the last few days is a testament to exactly that. So if you're wondering why Tucker Carlson, free speech Tucker Carlson, refuses to utter even a single ill word about Fox, it's probably because he knows full well what awaits him if he does. Now let's be clear about one thing. While Tucker's gone, Fox will not go quietly. And just like Bill O'Reilly and Glenn Beck were both replaced by someone worse, so too will Tucker. And we have a rare opportunity right here, right now, to hit Fox while it's down as it heads into negotiations for its carriage fees, which are the fees that every cable subscriber pays for Fox, regardless of whether or not they actually watch the channel. And right now, Fox demands the second highest carriage fee only behind ESPN. But now they're entering negotiations. So here's a clip from my interview with Media Matters CEO Angelo Carusone about how we can all play a small role in ensuring that Fox isn't able to insulate itself from outside pressure by relying on sky high carriage fees. This is a great question, especially for your audience, because, and I've, I've told you this privately and I'll say here, because I, I think this is so significant. You know, we've been organizing these this campaign now for a couple of years, waiting for this moment. Um, and your audience has been the single highest conversion from promotion discussion to actually going and signing up and then taking the subsequent action. And it's significant because all that stuff that I mentioned before, the pressure they're feeling, it's because when we've activated people, they've done stuff. And that's then created this actual moment where Fox could be held accountable. Like the, the rubber meets the road here and it's working. So what can people do? Um, they, they can sign up on Fox My Cable Box, simple. Um, and that, you know, you just give your name, your cable company. Uh, and when your renewal comes up, we will send you a message and tell you what to do about it. It's really simple. It's really easy. Um, we're not going to bother you for donations. I'm not going to spam you. It's just an actual transaction there. If you don't have cable, but you know someone that does, that's what you should do. You should direct them there and tell them about it. That is that is the answer. Your parents or family members, friends, like that is that's the most important thing you can do. And then the second thing I would say is a very spe special message. If you have Comcast or Xfinity or Spectrum, Charter or Cox Cable. So Comcast, which is also Xfinity, Spectrum, Cox, Charter. If you have any of those, um, you should go to nofoxfee.com. And that will just give you very, very simple phone number and what you need to say when you call or the Facebook message that post, but phone calls are way better. Um, those are the ones that Fox News is actually negotiating with right now. Those are the cable companies that are gonna that are first up, um, and they will end up setting the stage. Part of the reason why Tucker, that you know, the Murdochs and this felt pressure, and this has been some of the reporting as well, is that the Murdochs were really thinking about their own control of the company and the fact that they're getting a lot of pressure too. It's like they need to start taking action to reseize the the narrative and to grab the reins and. You know, if they're walking into these rooms and they're already meeting resistance, and then Tucker's name is coming up, you know, part of the idea I think they had by letting go of Tucker, and there's a lot of reasons, was that it also served like a release valve, a pressure valve. Like they just wanted to let a little bit of pressure out to maybe hope to assuage the concerns they were getting during these renegotiations. And so that's the answer. On Fox My Cable Box, you could sign up, you'll get the instructions there. And if you have Xfinity, Charter, Comcast, Spectrum, nofoxfee.com will give you very specific instructions. Either way, it's the same site, just one's a little bit more general than the other. That's the most important thing you can do. And it works. It really matters, honestly. So again, go to unfoxmycablebox.com or nofoxfee.com and sign up so that you can be notified when it's time to do your part during Fox's negotiation with your cable company. Because Fox was perfectly willing to damage this country then, now comes the part where they pay the price. 
Before you go, I need your help. I'm right on the cusp of hitting 2 million subscribers, so please help me grow this channel so the progressive media ecosystem grows by hitting the subscribe button right here on the screen. I also started a Spanish channel so we can finally start regaining some of that lost ground among Spanish speakers, so if you want to help support those efforts, you can hit that subscribe button. And finally, if you listen to podcasts and you want to support mine, you'll find a link to that on the screen as well. Thanks so much for watching.